Say thank you. And you all look beautiful. Oh yes. my God. Yes. Um, I'm really impressed. Uh, we have a keynote speaker from Washington, D.C. You will hear a lot about him during the gala. And I'm going to also ask him to say a few words. But before for that to happen, I'm going to ask a couple people just to join me. I'm going to ask um, the president of this great institution. And I'm, believe me, when I say great, it is great. So I'm going to ask Dr. Ali to please come and join me. The vice president of the university, I'm going to ask Joe Cardona to please join me. Uh, we do have two books signed uh, by, by this great author, great speaker. And you know, I'm not kidding. Um, he worked with President Clinton uh, in the White House for four good years. And uh, you recall those moments, right? When the, when the economy, um, how, how we were progressing as a nation. And he didn't stop there. In fact, um, he went ahead uh, having his own leadership um, institute, the um, Latino Leaders Network. And he's going to talk more about that. In fact, um, you don't have to. We have someone who's going to be talking about that. Uh, <laughs> so with that, uh, we have these two uh, books signed by the author, Mickey Ibarra. Yep. And this one is for Dr. Ali. Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, this is for Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have a few speakers, uh, and I'm trying to be very short. I know that you love that music, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's in your blood, right? I can see some movement. Yeah, some salsa. It's like, yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's recorded, you know. So um, we ha we have a, a, a couple um, medals, and uh, it means so much for us that this individual, um, for the last four years, never said no, you know, to the Hispanic community throughout New Jersey, particularly in South Jersey. And he um, actually allowed us to recognize every year five students, like this morning, who receive scholarship, and they're actually attending this un university. They're actually from South Jersey, who just graduated and attended Rowan University. Um, he has never said no when it comes to our event. You know, he strongly believed in, in our culture, not just those 15 days. That's why I said, you know what, let's break that barrier, you know, from September the 15th to October the 15th. Um, it's 365 days. And so just the fact that we have so many people and all of you that really care about leadership, really care about diversity and have a strong love. And we will do our part to make sure that our children, think about this, will come here. So um, with that, I would like to give this medal on, on behalf of the Hispanic Leadership Summit and some of the board of directors are here. And so this is um, to my friend, uh, a friend to uh, the state of New Jersey, and, uh, and of course to this great institution, and that is um, none other than Dr. Ali. Thank you. Um, and, and we have one more person before I allow Dr. Ali to say a few words. Um, you know, I just learned about her, uh, and, and I decided, you know, let me just um, know more than about her and, and even about her late husband. The late husband was, I believe, 37 or 38 years old, who became the fourth president of Rowan University. And, um, to know that this building, thanks to the Board of Trustees, uh, agreed to name you know, um, the life memory, um, all his level of professionalism, service, and really uh, helping um, students to excel, uh, not just getting their uh, bachelor's degree, but even master's and doctorates. So I'm gonna ask uh, Barbara uh, Chamberlain to please come forward. <laughs> And I'm going to ask the president if he would be kind enough to bestow this medal on her. And she happens to be on the board of trustees for Bowen University. Dr. Barbara Evelyn.
Um, And then um, he traveled from Washington, D.C. to South Jersey. And we want to give an official welcome you know, to, uh, of course, Glassboro here in the state of New Jersey. And he is really a remarkable person, down to earth. When he speaks, uh, it's like you sort of embrace it. It's like, oh, so more familiar. <laughs> you know, he, uh, with his leadership program, he, he recognizes national Hispanic icons and leaders, not only in Washington, D.C., Miami, Florida, Chicago, Illinois, or even Los Angeles, California. You know, you were once in, uh, in Philly, too, Pennsylvania. Yes. So, uh, and he brings so many people. And folks, not only, you know, sort of like 30 tips for success, he is writing a book. And I can't wait, and hopefully we can <laughs> invite him, hopefully, uh, to, uh, for the signing, and of course we would love for him to say a few words about his book. So with that, I would like just to give this, on behalf of the Hispanic Leadership Association, um, we just want to say thank you. I mean, <laughs> at this time, um, please, um, you know, once again, uh, put your hands together, my friend, your friend, Dr. Ali. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Rowan University. Yes, this is the fifth year that we have had the pleasure of having the Hispanic Leadership Summit in here. And I tell you, every time they come in here, we really impact this institution for the better. Every year that I look at the color of our students, the diversity of our students, becoming more and more beautiful, just like this room. <laughs> look at the colors. It's not just the dress and the clothing. It's just the face and the smiles. That's what is special about this country. That's why I love this country, to serve this country, to be in here and to, to run this great institution because I get your sons and daughters to come to this institution and get a great <coughs> education. I'm so pleased that this institution really is growing, growing very fast and is embracing people from all walks of life, from every state in the union, from foreign countries, but mostly from New Jersey. And today we have 16,000 students. Only six years ago we had 10,000. Today we have two medical schools, only two, six years ago, we had none. Mm -hmm. And six years ago we were teaching college, now we are a comprehensive research university with two medical schools, one of only two in the nation, the other one being Michigan State. And all of that as a result of <coughs> people like yourself coming in here and getting to know this institution and going and spreading the word and encouraging kids to come in here and get their education, and it makes me extremely pleased to have you here, and I hope that you will seriously consider nieces and nephews, friends, all of you, when you come in here, we give you free dinner, we give you welcome, but we give you a job. You are not ambassadors. When you go out there, please spread the word and encourage kids to come here. This is a great place. We keep them safe. We give them a good education. We don't burden them with, we burden them with tons of debt. And, and when they go out there, they will be very productive taxpayers. That's what we all want. Thank you for being here and enjoying it. I would like to uh, invite Kathy, hi, uh, from the South Jersey Chamber of Commerce. And um, I want her to talk about this, pro it's actually, if you check your ad book, uh, and you will see there's a flyer uh, sort of promoting the Hispanic Business Forum. And when I talked to Kathy, uh, Deborah Lorenzo, and, and, and uh, Christina, about, you know, we need to uh, encourage Latinos uh, to join this powerful South Jersey Chamber of Commerce. And um, we also reached out to Carlos Medina, the president of the New Jersey um, uh, uh, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. And I believe Luis Rodriguez is here. He's one of the honorees uh, from, uh, he has, actually has his, there he is. He has his firm here, he's an engineer, and, and, and he's the president of the Philadelphia Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. And out of the three, we created a beautiful marriage. And it's going to be very explosive come November 6th. That's where I'll stop and let Kathy take it from there. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm honored to be here this evening. I'll keep it brief. 
um, I'm looking around the room and I'm noticing it's not often that I go into a room and I go, I really don't know that many people. So I'm hoping to be back here next year and knowing all of you. Um, and we're going to start in two weeks on November the 6th with our H Hispanic Business Forum. Um, and the goal of that forum is to get our members to meet the members of the Hispanic business community, come together and do business, and we as an organization are, are really committed to helping you all grow in your business. And it's a wonderful partnership that we're looking forward to growing over the years. Thank you. I'm happy to be here at my alma mater. Uh, and Dr. Chamberlain was president when I was here, and that's all I'm going to say about what year I graduated. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And it so happened that the keynote speaker uh, for that event is, I'm sure most of you uh, would, would know him when I mention his name, Sid Wilson, who just became the CEO of the Corporate Responsibilities across the country. You know, so I'm sure you know, we look forward to, uh, to our great speaker. And now I'm just going to allow for our guest speaker uh, just to say a few words. Uh, I don't want you know, to sort of steal the thunder because we want to you know, get him back to the uh, gala. And, and uh, you know, he is our keynote speaker. So please, uh, once again, if you could please put your hands together for our speaker, the Honorable Miki Ibarra. Let me just say a couple of things. One, certainly, I want to thank all of you for showing up. That's important. I'm going to talk more about that. So remember, showing up and how important that is. I want to thank uh, Angel, our assemblyman, uh, who's done a terrific job, obviously, of building an organization that's about building unity in our community, which I believe is so important. To Dr. Ali, how impressive a, a university. This is the first opportunity I've had to set foot on Ruin University, but it won't be my last. Okay? Wonderful, wonderful. Good. Two other points. Tonight I'm going to talk about my story. I'm going to share that story with you and tell you why. I'm going to reflect on a few White House memories that I'll treasure for a lifetime. And finally, share a few of my tips. This little book took me 30 years to learn everything in it. And it's going to take you less than 30 minutes to read it. <laughs> OK? And I'm going to talk about three of those valuable tips for, and leave that with all of you tonight. I look forward to the evening with you. Congratulations to those that received. This is heavy. <laughs> this is heavy. And uh, I look forward again to joining with uh, the assemblyman to, to congratulate all of tonight's winners, really. You're all winners, and you showed up. Thank you so much. By the way, we do have two books. So if you go with the registration. Um, oh, my good, please. Oh, that's yours? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have a basket, just put your business card, and around 7.45, 8 o'clock, we'll draw two names, and you'll come up, take a photograph, um, I mean, a, a picked a photo uh, with, with the, the keynote speaker, as well as his autograph. So please uh, go back to the, with the registration, put your business card, and we'll pull out a winner. Two winners, okay? Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great, great.